Today we're going to learn how to solve literal equations and we're not doing anything that we already don't know how to do. We're just building off of what we've done with multi-step equations which is using inverse operations to eliminate the things that we need to eliminate so that we can solve for or isolate what it's asking us to solve for. The only difference now is instead of getting something like x equals 5 or x equals some number, that number being the number that makes this a true statement, you're going to get something that has a lot of variables and you're going to be asked to solve for one variable in particular. So here we have example number one, a equals a plus b plus c all divided by 3 and it's asking us to solve for b so we know that we're going to need to use inverse operations to eliminate these other things that are connected to b and in order to figure out what we need to eliminate first we're going to use this idea of reverse PEMDAS or SADMEP so we're going to focus on eliminating our addition and subtraction then we're going to move on to our division and multiplication after that we're going to try to eliminate our exponents if we have any and then lastly, we're going to eliminate the things that are in parentheses. So here I have my equation. I just rewrote it with uh, the right side now on the left and the left side now on the right. And I put parentheses around these three terms because they're all being divided by the same value. This is going to help me identify what I need to eliminate first. Since division comes before parentheses and reverse PEMDAS, I know that I need to eliminate it. So I'm going to eliminate division with multiplication because these two operations undo each other. And since I want to eliminate a 3, I've got to multiply by a 3. And I'm just going to represent this as a fraction because this looks like a fraction to me. If I multiply 3 on one side, I've got to make sure that I multiply it on the other. And now I'm just going to simplify my equation. 3 divided by 3 is just 1. And a plus b plus c divided by 1 can just be written as a plus b plus c equals a times 3 is just 3a and we're going to write our multiplication without any parentheses or operating sign. Now I've got to eliminate this a and this c. Since they're both being added it doesn't really matter which one I eliminate first so I'm going to go ahead and focus on this a. In order to eliminate this a all I need to do is add the opposite of a which is a negative a. If I add a negative a to one side I've got to make sure that I add it to another. Some of you guys are probably thinking, why is he using, why isn't he using subtraction? Because subtraction is the inverse of addition. You guys already know that adding a negative is the same thing as subtracting, so I don't want that to confuse you. I know that negative a plus a simplifies to zero, so I'm left with just b plus c equals, and 3a plus a negative a can be rewritten as just 3a minus a because plus a negative is the same thing as just minus. Now I've got to eliminate the c and like I said adding a negative and subtracting is the same thing. I'm going to use subtraction here but I'm going to actually represent it as adding a negative c because if I add the opposite of c which is negative c I know that these two are going to simplify to zero. This is actually called the additive inverse. If I add a negative c on one side I've got to make sure I do the same exact thing on the other. And on this side, I'm just going to represent it as subtraction because they're the same thing. And if you don't believe me, quickly look at this example. Here I have 1 minus 1. I have 1 plus a negative 1. I know 1 minus 1 equals 0. I also know that 1 plus a negative 1 equals 0. So these two things, these two things are the same exact operation. Sorry. Now I've got b equals... 3a minus a minus c. Since none of these are like terms, I'm going to write my terms in alphabetical order. And because a and a come in the same order in the alphabet, I'm going to write the capital A before I write my lowercase a. Question 2. Solve 4x. I have 7x minus y equals 14. x is already on the side that it's going to be in on in the end, so I'm good to go. Now I just need to eliminate this negative y and this 7. Because subtraction comes before multiplication, I'm going to eliminate it. The opposite of a negative y is a y, so if I add a y to this side, I know they're going to eliminate to 0. I've got to make sure that I also add a y to this side. Now I'm just going to simplify. y minus y is 0. What I'm left with is just 7x equals and 14 plus y aren't like terms. However, when I rewrite this, I'm going to make sure that I commute my variable in front of my constant. And when I commute those, I'm going to make sure I include the sign with what I'm moving. 
So it was a positive y, still is. It was a positive 14, and it still is. So I can measure those correctly. Now I've got to eliminate this 7. Since there's no operating sign between these two, I know it's multiplication. To eliminate multiplication, I've got to divide. And since I want to eliminate a 7, I'm going to divide by 7. Well, if I divide 7 by one side, I've got to make sure that I divide 7 by the other side. So I'm going to divide 7 to both of these terms. When I simplify, I get 7 divided by 7, which is just 1. And 1 times x can just be written as x. y divided by 7 can't be simplified, so I'm just going to write it as y divided by 7. Plus 14 divided by 7 can be simplified to 2. And when I type this in my answer bar, I am ready to go. I don't really need to add any parentheses or anything. Okay, question number three. Let me finish writing it right here. Vt minus 16 t squared equals h. I just rewrote my equation so that v is now on the left side because I know at the end it's going to be on the left side. So I'm saving myself just a little work in the end. Now I'm going to use inverse operations here to eliminate these other things. Since subtraction comes before multiplication, I'm going to eliminate this negative 16 t squared. Well, I know that if I add the opposite of a negative 16 t squared to this side, they're going to eliminate. If I do that to one side, I've got to also make sure that I add it to the other side. I'm going to simplify my left side now. These two are going to eliminate to zero. So what I'm left with is just v times t equals h plus 16t squared. These aren't like terms, so I'm going to make sure that I write it in alphabetical order using the commutative property. Looks like they already are, so I'm just going to write it like this. Now I've got to eliminate this t. Since it's being multiplied to the v, I'm going to divide. And since I want to eliminate it, I've got to divide by it. If I divide t to one side, I've got to make sure that I divide it to the other side. And unlike the other example where I divided the number um, individually to each term, I'm just going to divide it to the entire thing because I already know that I'm not going to really be able to simplify any of these terms. So here's my final answer. I know tt is just 1. 1 times v is just v equals h plus 16t squared. And that's all divided by t. And I'm going to put this in parentheses. Um, because that's going to be what happens first when we do order of operations, and the computer is going to read it correctly if I do. Question number four. Whoops. Here we have h times b plus c equals a, and we're solving for b, so I've got to eliminate these other things. Because multiplication comes before parentheses in reverse PEMDAS, I've got to eliminate this h first. The inverse of multiplication is division, so I'm going to divide by an h. Make sure that I balance my scales and do the same thing to the other side. I know h divided by h is 1. And I know that 1 times b plus c is just b plus c. And that equals a divided by h. Now I've got to eliminate this c. Well, just like in the first example, since the c is being added, I know I'm going to use subtraction. But because I can't write minus c because I don't have enough room, I'm just going to write plus a negative c. If I add a negative c to the one side, I've got to make sure that I do it to this side. And I'm just going to use uh, condense my double signs in my head and write subtraction. Negative c plus c is 0. I'm left with b equals a divided by h minus c. I'm going to make sure I write this in alphabetical order. Since a comes before c in the alphabet, a divided by h will come first minus c and I'll go ahead and put that in the computer just like that. Question number five. Two times L plus W equals A. I'm solving for L, so I've got to eliminate this two and this W. Because multiplication, again, comes before parentheses in reverse PEMDAS, I'm going to eliminate the multiplication using division. And I want to eliminate a two, so I know I need to divide by a two. Well, if I divide one side by two, I've got to make sure I divide the other side by two. 2 divided by 2 is just 1. 1 times L plus W is just L plus W equals A divided by 2. Now I've got to eliminate this W. Since, again, I don't have enough room to write minus W, um, what I'm going to do is just add the opposite of W because I know those will eliminate to 0. Well, if I add the opposite on one side, I've got to add the opposite on the other. I know that negative W plus W equals 0. So I'm just left with L, and I'm going to condense this plus a negative. 
do a subtraction, and A comes before W in the alphabet, so I'm going to write A divided by 2 minus W. Example 6, MX plus B equals Y. Again, I just moved uh, my flip my scales so that B is now on the left side because in the end it's going to need to be on the left side, so I'm just saving myself a little work in the end. I've got to get B isolated, so I've got to eliminate this MX. Since it's being added, all I need to do is um, do the inverse of addition, which is subtraction, which again is the same thing as just adding the opposite. So the opposite of an MX is a negative MX. Well, if I add a negative MX to one side, I've got to make sure I do it to the other side. I'm going to go ahead and condense my double signs to subtraction. Okay, so on my right, on my left side, sorry, I'm left with just B because those are simplified to zero, and Y minus MX. Because M comes before Y in the alphabet, I'm going to go ahead and write this term first. And since this term has a negative in front of it, I've got to make sure that I move the negative when I move the term. So I'm going to go ahead and move this term in front using the commutative property, and I can rewrite this as negative MX plus Y. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in the computer just like that. Question number seven. Negative 5y equals negative x minus 15. I've got to eliminate this negative 5 because I'm solving for y. Since it's being multiplied, I know I need to divide. And I want to eliminate a negative 5, so I'm going to divide by a negative 5. Well, if I do that to one side, I've got to make sure I do it to the other. And I'm actually going to divide it individually to each term because I know that one of the terms is going to be able to be simplified. When I simplify my left side, well, I'm left with just 1 times y, which is just the same thing as y, equals negative x divided by negative 5. Well, I know that a negative divided by a negative is a positive, so I can rewrite this first term as x divided by 5. Again, negative 15 divided by negative 5. I know that a negative divided by negative is a positive, and I know that 15 divided by 5 is 3. I'm going to go ahead and put that in the computer just like this. Okay, here we have question number 8, and I'm going to solve for W. Before I do anything, I'm going to put these in parentheses because they're both being divided by the same value, and it's going to help me figure out what I need to eliminate first. Because division comes before parentheses, I'm going to go ahead and eliminate the division by multiplying by the number I want to eliminate. I'm going to make sure I keep my scales balanced and multiply the same number to the other side. I know that 2 divided by 2 is 1, and I know that L plus 3w divided by 1 is just L plus 3w, and r times 2 can be rewritten as 2r. Now I've got to eliminate this um, L because addition comes before multiplication. Well, I don't have enough ri room to write a uh, minus L right there, so I'm just going to add the opposite and simplify here to 0, and I've got to add the opposite over here, and I can rewrite my left side as just 3w now, 2r, Plus a negative is the same thing as subtraction, so I can write it as 2r minus l. And my last step is to eliminate the 3, which is being multiplied. I'm going to use division, and I'm going to actually divide it like this this time because I know that none of these terms are going to be simplified when we divide by 3. And I'm going to write my final answer over here as w equals, because uh, l comes before r in the alphabet, I'm going to go ahead and commute this front of this 2r, so I can write it as a negative L plus 2r, and I didn't change the signs, all divided by 3, and when I put this in the computer, I've got to make sure that I put my numerator in parentheses because these two terms are being divided by the same value. This example is very similar to the last one, so I'm going to go ahead and skip it, but just remember, if you're going to solve this, you've got to make sure you put this in parentheses, it'll help you simplify or use inverse operations a little bit more efficiently.